this video we are assembling the sunflower box card so I'm just gonna start by putting some of these pieces together I have all the pieces laid out where they go this these two pieces here are for the sentiment on the back And let's pull forward the front of the box card. So I've got all my pieces prepped and ready to go. When you're assembling the card, you want to put this long panel on first. straight here then put these two pieces together and put them on the front so you've got we've got the panel piece and the piece that makes this folded part of the envelope and then this glues right here on the front of the card like that. That way you have a border around this flap piece as well. Flap. This is the outside. I'm going to make sure I glue these on the right side. So this goes on the back. You're going to flip it over and we're going to put this liner on the inside. Okay. I would suggest when you do this liner piece that if you decide to use a pattern, use something that's not too busy because you don't want to take away from the actual card itself. So something like a faded newspaper print, you know how some papers have that. I think even something like that might be too busy right behind it because this is going to kind of make whatever you have, make it makes the center of your card kind of pop. So, and now just to complete this part, I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. I'm only going to glue it on one side because I still have to put the inserts in. Now we can set this aside for a few minutes. Now for the sunflower, it is these three pieces. And I've inked the edges of my um, petals and I've also rolled it and then curled it right here so that it's kind of popping up a little. So I've rolled it like that and then like this. Roll the end under and then just this bottom part here roll it up. Okay, 
So that's how I prepped my flour. And then just line it up. Part of your petals. I'm trying to decide if I want to use foam tape on this part, but I don't think I do. I think I'm going to glue the petals flat, and I'm just going to use foam tape on my center. I think I'm going to pop both of them. So now the back part, <clears throat> so we have all these little branches and leaves, and I've just curled the edges of my um, little branch pieces up, glued them all up, and when I glue these in place, I am only going to apply glue here on the bottom leaves because I want it to look a little spriggy. That's not really a word, but so I'm just going to do that and it kind of multiplies, makes the leaves look like I have a lot more. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And then this one, just kind of, you just want to make sure it's within, that it's not going over this edge, because that's where the card is going to glue. So I'm just going to kind of glue this one like this. Just being careful not to get it over the edge. And then the same with these leaves, I'm only going to apply glue on the bottom. And I think I'm going to glue the bottom down and I'm going to add a little pop of foam tape behind it to keep it up. There. And that will make sure that it doesn't go flat. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I think I'll just go ahead and put the foam tape on now. And apply glue at the bottom because I do want it to look kind of angled. Just like that.
I forgot to take that off. Did I do that on the other one too? I bet I did. Okay, so that is the back. And all that dimension back there makes the flower look very lively. So to put the card together, we're going to apply glue to this end. We have our flaps out straight. Line it right up against the edge. And press firmly. Do that with the next one. This one's going to lay right in there. Press firmly. Oh, it's got a little bit of bulk. So I'm going to have to hold that for a few seconds longer. From the bulk from the leaves there. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Next we're going to put some glue on these tabs. And I'm staying just to the inside of them because I don't want my glue oozing out and getting on the panel behind it. Now we're gluing it to the other side. Then we're going to close the card. So I'm going to add some glue to this tab. Fold it back and forth. And then there you have it, the Sunflower Envelope Box Card. Thank you for joining me.